Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming my 2018 favorites. I have a lot of stuff for you guys. This is ranging from beauty products to music to people. I foresee this being a pretty long video, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm gonna start with my beauty favorite. So when thinking back at my favorite, most loved and most used makeup products of the year, only a few things really come to mind. First of all, this is not gonna be a surprise to any of you. I have so many tutorials using this palette, not even because I want the tutorials to be using this palette, but just because I use this palette so often. This is the Jaclyn Hill palette. This actually came out in 2017, I believe, but I would say this year is the year that I really, really got into it, and I pretty much use this palette every single day. Like, I might grab a couple shades from other palettes or other eyes shadows I have but this is definitely my go-to I highly recommend it I love it so much this is the collaboration that dose of colors made with Desi and Katie but the specific eyeshadow in here that is making my 2018 favorites is this purpley one right here it's called turbo Sun. every time and I mean every time I say to myself I actually need to look good tonight. Like I actually need a flattering makeup look. And I say that because a lot of times when I do my makeup, I'm doing it just to be creative, just to be fun. And it might not necessarily be the most flattering look on me. But for the times when I actually need to look good, I pretty much always go for this eyeshadow with some red in the crease. This eyeshadow is so sparkly. Look at this. Look how beautiful that is. So that's for sure a go-to of mine. Although now that I'm thinking about it okay I'm just now realizing though that that was limited edition so now I'm kind of wondering I feel bad I guess I didn't even really think about it but how about for all of you guys who did buy this and who were just sleeping on that shade maybe that'll change your mind I don't know if you guys have any dupes for that eyeshadow feel free to leave them below for everybody to see because now I feel kind of bad mentioning it knowing that it's limited edition and then I only have three other makeup products so the first one is a mascara this is the L'Oreal voluminous lash paradise mascara this mascara has changed my life. Given I've never actually used a high-end mascara, I don't think, or maybe I've used one, but I've never bought one for myself. But according to the reviews that I read about this and everyone else raving about this, I'm pretty sure this is comparable to a high-end mascara, and I think it's amazing. Best drugstore mascara I've ever used, hands down. And then the last two makeup products I have are two lip products. So first of all, this is kind of boring but I literally cannot live without it. And I know that because I lost it a week ago and I've gone about a week without it and I really just barely survived it. My lips are so crusty and dry right now, so that's good. But this is the Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm in the shade Red Dahlia. It's just a really pretty shade and I really like wearing it when I'm not wearing makeup and when I am wearing a little bit of makeup. It's a little bit expensive for a lip balm. I'm pretty sure it was like $5 at Cracker barrel where I ended up finding it the other day after not having it for like a week and then my final beauty product which kind of crazy I don't have that many to talk about but I really don't buy new makeup that often is this bite beauty lip crayon in the shade glossé well I don't know if that's what they were going for I guess it means free the past tense of to freeze I guess it is a word it is froze the past tense of to freeze I don't know if you've ever tried these before, these lip crayons, but they're kind of the consistency of, I would say it's a mixture between a creamy lip liner and a lipstick. They're really easy to apply though, look at that. But I just really, really like this shade. I feel like it's a your lips but better shade. This is me every morning getting ready. I'm like, what lipstick should I wear? And then I pick this one like 90% of the time. So that is surprisingly all for makeup. Moving on to skincare, I really only have one product for you and it is what helped me clear up my acne. It is Curology. Maybe they should sponsor me. I've made two videos talking about my Curology journey. I will link both of those and honestly, probably a lot of other videos in the description below. But yeah, if you wanna learn more about how this helped me, you can refer to those videos. But basically this changed my life and it cleared up my skin. It's not perfect, but it is infinitely better than it used to be, so. So now moving on from skincare to clothing, I was really trying to think of some clothing items that I've worn 
consistently throughout the entire year of 2018. And it kind of just brought me to one shirt. This seems silly because it's a little bit too real. Like I wear this shirt all the time. It's this shirt. This is literally it. It's just a plain V-neck. It's just the comfiest shirt I own. I got it from the plus size section at Forever 21. But after it shrunk in the wash the first time we washed it, it kind of came in on the sides and it fits me a lot better. I do, however, have a runner up shirt. It is only runner up because it's so hot where I live that I don't get to wear it very often. It's basically just a plain white long sleeve t-shirt. It says Joy Wave and then has a number two footnote and underneath it says Content or Content. That is the name of their album. I'll come back to Joy Wave later in the video, but people compliment me on their merch every time I wear it and they don't even know what a Joy Wave is, but it's a cool shirt. Some other lifestyle things, I guess you could say. I thought I would share my two favorite photo editing apps. They each do their own things. So the first one is called Fonto. I'll put the logo of it here, but basically it allows you to add text to your photos and I use this to make my thumbnails sometimes. There's a lot of things you can do with that text on this app. It gives you a lot of options, so I would definitely recommend that. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably shouldn't because I don't post very often, but but I post a lot of up close eye makeup pictures and you really don't realize all the little hairs you have around your eyebrows and all the little pores that you have around your eyebrows until you take a high quality picture of them. So I will go back to the app called Airbrush linked right here and I will use their acne tool to get rid of a lot of the like little hairs. So yeah, I use that app to edit my makeup pictures. I do a couple other things with it, but I think it's a pretty good app. Moving on to a food item. I think this kind of fits in lifestyle. Coconut ice cream bars. Period. I became obsessed with them in 2018. They are the best thing ever to exist. I love coconut and in the form of ice cream bars, impeccable. Um, I'll write the brand that I usually get down below. Moving on to my 2018 music favorites. Obviously I had to include this. Looking back at the year, this really wasn't even hard to come up with. So the first one is Shawn Mendes. <laughs> Shawn Mendes dropped an album back in May, I think. <laughs> May 25th, 2018. And Shawn Mendes has quickly become my most listened to artist on my phone of all time. And the album has only been out since May. So if you haven't heard said album, I do feel that it is my personal responsibility to introduce it to you. This is one of the popular songs called Lost in Japan. Y'all, I am watching back this footage and it is literally so embarrassing. I cannot put this in this video. My second artist of 2018 that I went through a heavy phase listening to is Tyler, the creator. His album Flower Boy came out in 2017 and I am late to the game, but for some reason this summer I decided to listen to it and proceeded to listen to it pretty much solely by itself for the entire rest of the summer. He has a lot of music, so it's taken me a while to get through it, but I really like Tyler, the creator. Oh. I guess now's the time I plug the shirt. But I don't wanna show you something from 2017. I feel like that wouldn't be fair to you. I want you to be updated on this, so. Whew. Or we can listen to a single he released called Peach Fuzz. It's 9, Here she is. And And then my third most loved artist of the Lord's year of 2018 is definitely Joy Wave. They're probably my favorite band of all time, honestly, at this point. I mean, I really like their music, but I also just really like them. They are so funny and they crack me up all the time. And they too did not release a new album in 2018, although they did release a couple singles. So here is one I'm going to play for you called Blast Off. Joy Wave is literally my background. Well, you can't see it because of the music, but they are. And then I also went to four concerts this year. That's a lot. That I it took me took me a little bit off guard when I realized I've been to four concerts this year. I saw Joy Wave in like February, which both me and my mom thought that happened like last fall or something. And then I saw Foster the People and Paramore. And then I saw Miguel sometime this fall. And then I extremely recently saw the 
Rex and Deal Casino. So I've been to four different concerts. I feel like I have to pick a favorite. I think I've decided that Paramore is the best group I've ever seen in concert. Haley Williams is amazing. Zach and Taylor also, like they're just all so talented and they just put on an amazing show and they sound great. Like I think they are probably the best concert I've ever been to. That being said though, the Rex was the most fun concert I've ever been to. And there is a slight distinction. Paramore, awesome. Did everything right. The Rex, so fun. Just probably one of the best nights of my life. That is my official concert review and we are nearing the end of this favorites video. I'm now gonna move on to some favorite people. Just in general, so definitely on the 2018 list is John Mayer. He has, he has taught me so much, honestly. If you haven't seen his new Instagram live talk show type thing that he does every Sunday night, he always just has so much wisdom to share, but that usually doesn't come till the end of the talk show. I feel like most of it is just him making stupid jokes that are actually really funny and singing new music perfectly, beautifully. I just love John Mayer. And then finally, I want to mention my favorite YouTuber of the year of 2018, Luke Corns. I'm just really impressed with how original he continues to be and how, you know how a lot of YouTubers will have like Q and A's that they'll post when they don't really feel like making a video? No, for the most part, all of his videos are on like the same level of just a lot of effort being put into them. He's really good at like color grading and things like that as well, aesthetically pleasing. He continues to inspire me all the time. And then the final thing, I was trying to think of maybe a favorite place that I've been, but I went on my first road trip this year with my family. We went to the Grand Canyon and Vegas, and I have a whole video talking about it if you wanna know more. But it was my favorite vacation that we've ever taken. I've wanted to go on a road trip for so long, and it was so fun. So I don't know what that counts as, maybe like a favorite thing I did this year, or just like a favorite memory, but definitely the 2018 Matthews road trip is on that list. So that is it for my 2018 favorites video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I'm gonna try to link everything I talked about in the description below, but if you do have any questions about anything I mentioned, or if you had some of the same favorites as me, or if you completely disagree and hate one of the things that I mentioned, I mean, the possibilities are endless. Just leave a comment below and I would love to chat with you guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it, and if you're not subscribed already, subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of cool videos coming out within the next month that I have planned, so you're gonna wanna check those out. I think that's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had a wonderful 2018, and I hope your 2019 is even better. And I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye. Piers, you have to turn that down. I'm no. filming, no. you can hear it so easily. No. Please turn it down a lot. I can't hear you. Piers.